Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is D. In today's video, we're going to take a look at everything in my collection starring Al Pacino. Al Pacino, he's an absolute legend. I, you know, I would be sounding kind of like everybody else if I say he's one of my favorites, but he's one of my favorites. Um, I think he's one of everybody's favorites. I think everybody who love movies, who even like movies from casual to hardcore, Pacino is one of their favorites. He got some absolute bangers. Um, in fact, he's one of the few actors who the majority of their work, well, I'm not going to say few, but he's one of those actors where the majority of his work would be considered bangers. The majority. And of course, he got some duds. Everybody do. But without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at some, some stuff from Al Pacino. Starting with one that I just, it took me off guard when I first saw this movie. I didn't realize it was going to be this good. I was watching this with a friend of mine years ago. He actually brought it over to my house and we watched it on DVD. I still have it on DVD. And it was just an incredible movie. And it's Carlito's Way. What a fantastic Al Pacino movie. It's one of my favorite Al Pacino movies. I think it's one of the best Al Pacino movies. What number I would give it, I can't really give it a number, but it's definitely a standout in Al Pacino's filmography. Also, this one doesn't star Al Pacino, but I want to put it out there because when I talk to, pe uh, talk to people about Carlito's Way, a lot of people didn't realize that there was a, a follow-up to that movie. It was a prequel, called, uh, a prequel called Carlito's Way Rise to Power. Well, this is before Carlito, you know, the fall that we saw Carlito was just getting out of jail. And the second one, this is the one, you know, a young Carlito Pregante. It's got a great cast in here. You got Jay Hernandez, Mario Van Peoples, Louis Guzman, and Sean P. Diddy Combs. P. Diddy is going through some things right now, but none, nonetheless, he did a good job in this movie. He did a real good job in this movie. This was a fantastic movie. It's called Carlito's Way, Rise of Power, and it's considered a prequel. I'm just putting it out there just in case you never heard of it. Because I do believe this was a straight-to-video release. Okay, we got that out the way. Next up, we got... Uh, let's see. Yes, this is 88 Minutes. I loved 88 Minutes. I thought it was a really good, suspenseful, thrilling movie. You can tell I read that off the back. <laughs> Here's one that's an absolute banger beyond a shadow of a doubt. Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino in Devil's Advocate. Man, this movie right here. Next up, we got... Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, and a host of others. He, I, I'm going to put that one down. I don't have to speak on that one. That name speaks for itself. We have Oceans 13. Here's one that was just really good. And, uh, a really underrated movie. Holly Hunter, Harmony Corrin, Chris Messina, The Manglehorn. This is a really good movie. It's, it's good. I mean, it's a great rom, rom com. If you want to call it a rom com, you can call it a rom com. It's a really good movie. You gotta check that one out. Donnie Brasco. This is this is definitely top level. This is definitely top level. Pacino. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Here's one that kind of went under the radar. You got uh, Josh Dumel. Al Pacino and Anthony Hopkins in Misconduct. This is a fantastic movie. This one right here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Al Pacino won two awards for this movie, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was nominated for quite a few, but I think he actually won. I know he won one for this. I got to go back and look, but I know he won an award for this, and it's been nominated for several. Scent of a Woman. This movie is excellent. This is this is good movie watching. And of course, I, and of course, the Godfather trilogy, one, two, and three. Um, you, me personally, my favorite, of course, is the first one. The second one is banging. The third one, all of them are good. I'm not going to say, you know, but I, you know, I like I like what I like. I like the first one the most, but they all good. It's almost the perfect trilogy. That, that's, that's a good topic for a video. Because there's so many trilogies out there. Ranking the trilogies. Hmm. Anyway, stand up guys. Pacino and Walken. 
uh, and Arkin. That's a good movie. Here's one. This movie is very controversial, and I got it trapped on DVD. This is one that I need to get up off of DVD and get it on a higher format. If I'm not mistaken, I think a 4K just came out for this. I know the Blu-ray is out there. I think it's on one of the boutique labels, but I think a 4K for this one just came out not too long ago, and that's Dog Day Afternoon. Fantastic movie. A little on the controversial side, but it's still a good movie. This is one of the movies. Remember when I said that even good actors make bomb movies? And again, the movie, the, 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 the fact the movie was a bomb don't have, really don't have to have anything to do with the actors. It could just be a shitty script, shitty direction. And you got De Niro and Pacino again in Righteous Kill. And this movie was just passable. I mean, just in my opinion, you might think it was really, really good. But I thought this movie was just passable. It was nothing special to that one at all. Here's one. Uh, Al Pacino, Matthew McConaughey, and Rene Russo, and Two for the Money. I did like this movie. I like this one a lot. We also have Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and Hilary Schwank. Hilary Schwank in Insomnia. This is a really good movie right here. Really good movie. I mean, Robin Williams, it's a shame that he took his own life because, I mean, he was just phenomenal. He did... We all know he was very funny, but he also did creepy very well. One Hour Photo, and then this, and I'm not sure of anything else, but he did a really good job playing that kind of role. It's a shame he cut his life uh, short. It really is. Uh, the number one Pacino movie, period, hands down. I don't care what anybody say. And I hate saying I don't care what anybody say because it just sounds stupid, but I got to be stupid for right now. And Scarface, this is the best Pacino movie, period. And I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> Al Pacino's Scarface, the number one uh, Pacino movie, in my opinion. And this one here, Son of No One. I just recently picked this one up. It's not bad. It's okay. So that's everything starting Al Pacino. We got uh, The Son of No One, Scarface, Insomnia, um, Two for the Money, Righteous Kill, Dog Day Afternoon. I definitely got to upgrade this. Somebody in the comment section, drop drop a line. Tell me what. I, I, I think I'm aware of the Blu-ray being on one of the boutique labels. But if there's a 4K, just drop it in the comment section. I think I might go for that. Because that's a good movie. Stand up, guys. This is the Godfather trilogy. This is the Coppola restoration. And it was a good restoration. Scent of a Woman. Misconduct. This is a really good movie here. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. There was a lot of hype for this movie when it first came out. It was a good movie, but I had to watch it twice because the first time I went to sleep on it. Donnie Brasco, banger. The Manglehorn. This is a really good movie. You guys, if you uh, manage to see this movie, I think you're going to like this one. Ocean's 13. Heat, legendary. Devil's Advocate, good movie. 88 Minutes, and Carlito's Way. Now, the reason why I didn't upgrade this, because I do believe there's a Blu-ray for this and a 4K for this. I know for a fact there's a 4K for this one. It should be a Blu-ray too, but the reason why I don't have, I didn't bother to upgrade this movie, and I love this movie. It's worthy of an upgrade because there's this, the second, well, the prequel is trapped on DVD. And I don't want to have... Like the two, I want them on the same format. I know that's silly, but I'm waiting to see if anybody's going to put out a double pack, rather be Blu ray or 4K, with both of these movies together on at least Blu ray and make a double pack. I would be all over that, but I didn't want to upgrade this one and have this one still trapped on DVD. I don't like doing that. I try to, if, if I try to keep, try to keep sets together in the same format, I try, it don't always work, but. If they don't do anything, I don't think they're going to do anything with this one. Rather, at least a Blu-ray for it, but I don't think that's going to happen. 
So I may just end up upgrading this to a 4K and just leaving this one trapped on DVD. I hate doing that, but it is what it is. Carlito's Way, this is definitely top, top in the top five for Pacino movies. Maybe top, yeah, top five. Definitely in the top five. Well, that's it. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.